Joining us right now is Krishna Mamani, Chief Investment Officer for Lafayette Endowment. Also, Eugene Profit, who's the CEO and Portfolio Manager of Profit Investment Management. And gentlemen, we are looking at the end of the year with stocks sitting at new highs or just off new highs. I guess the market is focusing on what 2021 is going to look like, not what this year looked like. And I, I, the biggest question from that is what, what comes next? Can these gains continue? Uh, Krishna, what do you think? Well, I think uh, for the equity markets, everything is falling in place. You have a, a vaccine that is uh, getting all uh, rolled out. Uh, you have easy policy. You have uh, a little bit of growth momentum. Uh, and uh, I, I think just from a base effect standpoint, 2021 will probably be one of the best years we have seen in a long time. And therefore, I, in sort of a, a, a growth uh, outlook standpoint and from a standpoint of uh, you know, how the markets behave, it's very difficult to see how the markets don't do well. The, the real question is what happens on the inflation front. And I think there are lots of, uh, there's a lot of hand waving going on with respect to inflation is going to manifest itself and somehow that'll undo it. I don't think that is likely to be the case. Eugene, you raised questions as well, just about any long-term damage that could be there, structural damage in the economy because of the, the changes and the, the pain that we've seen this year. How big of a concern is that for you? Well, Becky, we're cost, more cost than most, and I'd like to point out that we're talking about a year ago, um, COVID came on the scene, and no one had that in their forecast for 2020, so we don't necessarily know what the Zaza shock will be for 2021. The other thing I think is that um, investors are very optimistic about um, the vaccine um, rollout, even though it's going on slowly. I think any potential hiccup um, with more restaurants closing down, this small business still being hurt as a result of it's not being you know, back, the pandemic completely removed, um, really is a negative headwind for this market. So although we're optimistic six months out, I think the next six months could be very volatile and rocky. Krishna, do you worry at all about any speculation in the market? We have seen stocks rally, even when all the bad news is kind of out there for us to see. Well, I mean, there is certain parts of the market for where uh, I would say it's getting uh, getting frothy for sure. But I think overall market levels, if you compare uh, the uh, earnings yield relative to bonds, uh, that certainly is not mm -hmm. the case. You know, in, in if you think about uh, asset prices in isolation, uh, we, we could have called this bull market that we have had over the last 20, 30 years uh, as, uh, you know, rational exuberance in the 90s, for example. But I, I think <laughs> given where bond yields are, you can justify current levels of market and, uh, and it's really not speculation per se. I think earnings outlook is looking good. Uh, growth is going to be better. So there's, there's uh, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot to worry about, but not, not getting overwhelmed. You said some areas look frothy. Like what? Well, you know, in some parts of the uh, the tech market, for example, when you see IPOs, uh, you know, tech IPOs going up, going up in a in a substantial, substantial, uh, substantial way, I, I, I think one could uh, one could probably look at that and say that it's probably overdone. Again, having said that, I think the mm -hmm. the rest of the market, at least the large cap market. Uh, you can you can justify at current levels given where uh, bond yields are, and yeah. I think bond yields are not going up anytime soon. And I think under under that condition, the markets are going higher rather than lower. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.